This looks special, like a sit-down piss. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to a fine dining edition of Offworld Cookery, where Paul Carew will be cooking baked monkfish, I'll be cooking these lovely lobsters on the table, and Sandra will be cooking a lemon mottle. <laughs> Cheers! That's right, it's another sorry episode of shit. This time featuring a table. So prepare yourselves for greatness. We're going to be making lemon madeleines. Lemon mottles. What? Starts with two eggs. Illustrated by one egg. This one came out of a chicken's hoop. Alessandro added eggs and sugar to a bowl and then mixed in knobs of butter. Knobbed it right up. Then appeared lemon peel. Baking powder. And plain flour. Swirled around like the smells inside a taxi before lemon juice, honey, and some other white stuff came to play. Uh, yeah. That's ready to go now. Just gonna put this aside for later. Let Paul Kerry get on with his starter. Which you could read off this board, or hear it from the man himself. Well, I'm going to be making monkfish wrapped in parma ham with pea and mint puree and a lovely lemon foam. See the kind of confidence having a table brings? With the monkfish wrapped in parma ham and drizzled in lemon jizz, Paul popped them in the oven and began work on his pea puree. Mushy peas. There's a Michelin star right there, along with creme fraiche and mint sauce. Paul mashed it up, coordinated by idiots. Mash it! Mash it fucking harder! My shit! Uh. Now it was time for Paul's lovely lemon foam. Mixing egg whites with lemon juice! and also sugar approximately that much plus a dash of water Paul foamed it up like when he looks at JPEGs of Gwyneth Paltrow late at night uh. clearly satisfied with his own foam Paul served up his starter Paul has prepared a pea puree with mint suggestion baked monkfish wrapped in parma ham topped with a rumour of lemon loin foam Garnished with lamb's leaf and chopped samphire. Well, that looks lovely, but what does the dramatic pea fish shit taste like? I thought it was very pleasant. The monkfish, the peas. Whoa. Well, that was full of uh, beautiful, fresh spring flavours. That's a winner. Having enjoyed such a treat, the fellows retired to the drawing room to relive past glories. I tell you, Paul Curry, it was a dark, dark, fearful night. We were walking across the savannah. My guide, Hemsworth was showing me the way. The stars were bright in the sky. We went round the corner and there I saw it. For the first time, the elephant's arsehole. So I got my gun and one, two, I shot at two new arseholes that day. Oh, how I laugh. <laughs> and it's tough. Adorn my hall! <laughs> <laughs> and as Chico went about his main course, this fellow looked on pensively, shitting it. Chico began by fashioning his potat rotundi. Uno. Which, by the way, is French for three. Asparagus was then chopped as Paul Kerry calmed the fears of his new underwater friend. Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. And you're going there right now. What do you think about that then? <laughs> 
Time to make the dressing for my main course. Which, as we see, consists of lemon juice, brown ale, and now what? And now the truffle oil. Lovely. Having managed to make something, Chico decided other people might want to eat it. Right, the lobsters are ready, time to get them out. And in case you are wondering, like Roman Polanski's hands, the name of this dish is Lobster Dan's Le De Patat. Served on an album cover, Chico has prepared a potat rotundi, boiled asparagus spears, humanely dealt with lobster, and butter fried prawns. Topped with a gesture of lamb's leaf and a proposition of rocket. Garnished with a lemon, brown ale, and truffle oil ablutionment. Ooh. Yes. Dinner. How does that make you feel then, you posh cunt? This meal has made me feel blessed by the oceans. It was tender, very well done. It was almost like it was still alive. Posh cunt's dinner, innit? It's like, it's all right. Their bellies filled with a creature vegetarians don't actually count as living, the gentlemen called for a spot of entertainment. Gentlemen. More entertaining than Googling Seven of Nine, Alessandro turned his attention back to his dessert. We're going to finish off the uh, pudding, pud pud. The idiot scooped out his mixture into little trays before shoving in the oven. Pop these bad lads in there. See you in the future. Meanwhile, sauce was afoot, starring butter, chocolate, amaretto, and almond flakes. And after a little bit of sauce warming, the future was soon upon them. Alessandro has attempted a lemon madeleine illusion, draped in a chocolate amaretto and almond event, cornered by strawberries, tickled with a mint and cream bathe, and imbued by an almond investigation. Voila! Behold the face of consumption! Beside themselves with alcohol. How do you think this dish went down? It's fucking brilliant, really. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's boozy, it's hard, oh, chocolatey. That makes me enjoy human beings. Do you want to try that again with your sober face? It makes me enjoy human beings. Convincing, like when my tummy tells me I'm thinner than I am, so I just keep eating. All the same, with such a delicious day behind them, it was soon time to go away, like the centre parting. Bill, please. Fantastic! Some more acting. Paul, perhaps uh, in the circumstances, you should play the pill. <laughs> what in blazes? What? You want me to play the pill? I'm damned if I'm paying. Sir, I demand satisfaction. Gentlemen. Upon my mark, proceed. Well, they're dead again, like Ben Affleck on the inside. Oh, 